Hey guys, welcome once again. This is George, and today we're going to repair or actually modify a Duro loudness meter. This meter was given to me, and it's actually my unit now. So uh, this is my unit. Yes, <laughs> I've always wanted this unit. Um, it's a loudness monitor made by Duro, made here in the United States. Really cool stuff. And this unit right now has LEDs, you know, these LEDs here that you see on the panel. And they're cool, but they have incandescent lamps that go here on the top and they normally burn out. Um, I had already originally uh, switched over to LED, but as you can see, it's not really bright because like the Duro loudness section should light up nice. Here, let me dim the light so you can see a little bit. See, you can't really tell that the LEDs are there. And I don't mean the colored ones, but the actual dial one. Okay. So what we're going to do is just take it apart, remove the old LEDs and replace it. So for this project, we're going to need three LEDs. And I ordered this package. It came like a hundred LEDs in this package, which is great. Real cheap. Maybe like seven bucks for the whole package. The cool thing about these lights is that they're, they're three millimeters. They're small. Uh, but I got the clear ones. I didn't get the frosted ones. So the clear ones, the light is not diffused. Let me show you what the uh, front looks like. See, they're completely flat on the top. So the lens is not there. So these LEDs radiate the lamp, the light out. So straight out. Okay. And very little light goes in by the sides, by the circumference. Okay. So what I normally do is I have a little trick that I do to have the light glow on the outside part and not too much in the front. All right, so let me show you how they're laid out here. The original lamps are laid out like that in this position, which means that if it's an LED, it's going to shine the light outward to the top. And I don't need the light to go up. I need it to go around. And the reason is because I want the dial to be consistent. I want all the lights to go not straight, but all light up evenly. So the meter has a five volt power supply that we can tap into. That's DC current. The LEDs, which are, I believe white is uh, 3.5, 3.7 to turn on the forward voltage of the LED. And I want to run it somewhat dim. So I'm going to run it at five to seven milliamps. Normally, if you want it bright, you would light it up at uh, about 30 but i think five milliamps is good so i'm going to choose a 270 to 300 ohm resistor and this is the lighting that it's giving me here let me show you with the lights off and that's the brightness of it it's actually pretty bright as is uh even running it at uh, five milliamps but uh, i think it's it's perfect the way i want for the uh, for the lights to show on the dial and as you can see, it has a nice yellow tint on it, which will look perfect. It'll still look vintage. It doesn't look like that white LED. See the nice color. And as you can see, the pattern goes to the front and not the sides, which we're going to fix that shortly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to test all of the LEDs just to make sure that they work. The ones that we're going to use, we're going to need three of them. And I'm going to spare you me testing each of the LEDs, but they are working. And we're going to cut three uh, what was it? Uh, 270, 300 or so, probably 300 ohm resistor. And we're going to use three of those as well. So we're going to crack open the old Duro meter from 1997 vintage. And we're going to take a peek of what's inside. Let's learn about light pipe technology. No, no, we're not. All this is, is just a Pexi glass with the instrumentation silk screened to the front of the Pexi glass. So all the indications are on the front and they have these little notches that the light uh, falls into. And when you put the light this direction, the light will flash and it should go straight. But we want it to radiate around. So that's what we're going to do now. So I bought these files. These are five, uh, five files, all different sizes. And they have this flat one, which I'm going to use. And all we're going to do is grab the LED and file the top part of it. All we're going to do is buff it a couple of times. The plastic is going to come off. As you can see that uh, white stuff that's coming out, that's the actual part of the plastic. And now the light is going to reflect instead of going up, it's going to reflect down, which is going to disperse the light down 
And now we're going to do the uh, circumference or the, or the around the light with the same pattern. And we're going to spin the little LED and rough up everywhere. So basically, we're just roughing up the LED with a file where it's beginning. It's going to become frosted. That's it. That's all it is to a diffused LED. Now, remember, you can buy them already diffused, but I did not buy them diffused. And this is a frosted one, and this is a regular one right here on the left. So as you can see, one's frosted and one is not. And that's going to allow the light to go around. All right, so you can see the old LEDs here. And uh, I'm going to mark the power supply section right here with a black Sharpie. And this is negative 5 volt on that side. Just so I remember, there's a uh, socket there. One pin is uh, negative 5 volt. The other one's regular 5 volt, positive 5 volt. So we're going to separate the panel from the LEDs or from your incandescent lamps. As you can see, there's the little 5 volt supply for the lights. And we're going to unplug that. All right, so all we got to do is remove the old incandescent lamps or LEDs as I am. And then we're going to also clean the pads. First thing I'm going to do is apologize because uh, my camera shifted and I lost a couple of the footage because the camera went sideways. I didn't lock in the camera. That could happen. So um, I lost some footage there, but uh, I'm going to try to recap what I did. So what we got here is just the panel. And uh, I'm putting the LEDs through the hole with the negative side. I'm going to flatten it out, out to one side. And I put this little gaffer tape on there just to hold the LEDs in place so I could solder them uh, evenly. All right, so let's speed through this. All I'm doing is bending the negative lead to one side. And I'm going to go ahead and tin those and solder those. That's the negative side. Then I'm going to trim the negative leads. Now I am going to... Remove that tape that I was holding the LEDs, tin the positive sides, and add the resistor right there on the positive side. Now just wrap it around, wrap it around, wrap it around, and tin those, and then cut them, and then just fold them down. That's all I'm going to do. All right, so now we test it and see what it looks like. And you can see we got some nice warm LEDs and they look just like incandescent and it's nicely lit. You see how nice and bright and even that is on the dial. So now what we got to do is because we touched all the stuff with greasy hands, we got to make sure this stuff is clean. So I just grab a piece of paper and some Windex and clean it. You can use glass cleaner or any type of cleaner, but just like window cleaner would be perfect. There's a little piece of tape residue there. So we clean that out really well. And now we're going to install it with the LEDs. There we go. Looks nice and shiny. And those are the resistors that I was telling you about. And since I bend them down, you're not going to worry. No one's going to see those there. And that is the power plug right there. So we'll plug the power in. Uh, make sure that positive is in the right uh, location. Clean a little bit more because I did touch the end. Now we're going to clean the epoxy glass, the inside and the outside. Not worried too much about the outside because we're going to clean that later. So dust that off with the duster. There we go. Put the pixel glass in, dust that off as well. And we are done. There's the LEDs. And now we can assemble this back. And where's the bezel? There's the bezel. Put the bezel in. I'm not going to put screws on it right now. I just want to test it so you can see what the lights look like already installed. And here we go. We plug it in. And there we got lights. Nice, warm lights, just like the original. There you go. See, the, the dial is lit up evenly, which is very important because you don't want them just to be lit in the middle you want the whole dial to light up and that's what it, that light pipe is doing that pixie glass in the way we diffuse the lights now the camera is showing a reflection on the top and the bottom the bottom is normal uh, but it is i guess the camera is really showing the shadow of the lights on the top but it's not as bright as you think it is on the top it just looks perfect 
So if you guys like this repair, um, you know, feel free to do it yourself. If you guys have uh, time, do it yourself. If you if you uh, want me to do the repair for you or the modification, feel free to contact me at George at 360mix.com and I will do the repair for you and the modification and ship the unit back to you all nicely done and calibrated too. We can calibrate it for you. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Take care.